So we started about a year ago. Uh, it just it was a group of people got together and thought, should we should we do masters? Um, so we, we put a programme together, uh, we had a bit of interest and since then it's just it's, it's spiralled, you know, we've got the best part of 20 members, um, they're all competing, or the majority of them are competing, um, and they're all really enjoying it. And it's, you know, it's just nice to see people getting back in the pool. Yeah. Local swimming group. It was a Facebook group set up by John called Mallows, which stands for Morecambe and Lancaster Lancashire Open Water Swimmers. And before COVID, we only had a couple of hundred members, and then COVID hit, and everybody started open water swimming. Um, so yeah, we've got a few of our masters that are part of the Mallows group. And since COVID, the group has just grown massive, and we've got about 8,000 members now, 9,000 members in that group. for a long time then um, when Covid hit there's um, round our area there's, there's a bit of because we're by the coast there's an area called Mallows Bay and there was loads and loads of people trying open water swimming and just getting into the sea and I was like no what's all that about I don't know there's no way no way and then I started getting curious so I started doing a bit of open water swimming um, to the point last year I trained for an event um, and swam Windermere so we had a relay a relay of us swimming legs of Windermere so during that I was pool training I was just kind of getting into it and and people kept commenting on my speed in the fitness training and I just thought hmm, I wonder if it's something I can do again so I started looking into what clubs were around and just kind of brought me here really yeah You've seen those videos of the pros balancing pint glasses and stuff on the head, that's how still you want your head. And the same on front crawl. When you're not breathing, it's not moving, because any movement there is energy you're expending, but you're not actually getting any forward momentum out of it. Okay, comes back to that kind of spreadsheet of cost analysis. Okay. When I got back into this, and uh, you know, I could barely get through half an hour of the session without cramping up, and you know, everything was going wrong. And he said, "Okay, so what are your aims? You know, are you going to compete?" And I laughed at him and said, "Well, no, those days are gone. I'm not going to compete." Eight months later, we're at nationals in at Pond Forge. You know, so yeah, definitely competitive. Um, and that's the great thing about masters. There's a huge social element, so much fun around the the people that you're training with. But there's a there's a competitive edge to it as well, and um, and yeah, it's it's absolutely important to uh, to get get involved, get competing, get racing, AP events for example. You know those sort of areas are, are critical to master swimming. Just want to say a massive thanks to our coach Harry. Um, Harry does a really innovative professional job of coaching the master squad down at Lancaster City. So he does, he's, over the last few months he's been working through personal development plans with all of us. And when I sat down with him to review my personal development plan, he gave me a stretch target of trying to achieve a nationals qualifying time. I actually laughed out loud because it just seemed so far-fetched at the time. But actually with, with only a year back swimming I've managed it. I've got one, but you know I've managed the nationals qualifying time. A lot of that is down to the encouragement that Harry gives us. So he does personal development plans, he structures our training program so that we're ramping up ready for galas and then tapering ready for the galas. It's like nothing I've ever seen before down at a club like this. He's really putting, he really puts his heart and soul into the coaching that he does with us and uh, all of us, all of us masters at Lancaster City really appreciate what he does. This is when you get out, your brain goes, well that's how I do it. Okay, whereas if you do 10 metres at a really high quality and then go on to front crawl, when you get out, all of your locked in butterfly practice is at a really good standard. Okay, when you go into race mode, it's autopilot. You just draw off the shelf all the skills you've locked in. And if half those skills are at an average standard, that's what you'll deliver in the pool.